us, are you in the market, maybe hoping to get a new car this holiday? Before you do, you're going to want to hear this. Right. So state officials are warning consumers about the really shady auto dealers who flip bad cars and then try to sell them illegally. Call for Action Problem Solver Chris Jackman is telling us more about this and then also how we can avoid it. We don't want this to happen to us. Absolutely. You do not want it to happen to you. And this is the time of year you need to be mindful of these scammers. These people may be buying a car as a, they know that people may be buying a car as a gift and they know tax season is right around the corner. So watch out for the signs because the last thing you want to do is spend thousands of dollars on a broken car. It's a good feeling getting a new set of car keys in your hands. But before driving off the lot, the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance wants to warn you about shady car salesmen called curb stoners. A curb stoner is someone who doesn't have a license. A curb stoner is someone who just wants to do a private sale. A curb stoner who's going to be offering you an amazing deal. Those deals are often too good to be true. Kevin Walters says curb stoners typically sell consumers salvage vehicles they get from flooded areas or junkyards. They have the vehicle clean and oftentimes change the car title, leaving the unsuspected driver with a messed up car. You're going to be getting a vehicle that might break down on you or worse might be a hazard on the road if it does indeed uh, drive. These guys don't just sell cars on the curb like they used to. They also use the internet. Curb stoners are on social media. Curb stoners are, you know, uh, waiting to find you any way that scammers can find you. Now there are some things you can do to protect yourself. One, do your due diligence. Research the seller. Another thing Walter says you should do is get your paperwork. Don't leave the lots without copies of everything you signed. And make sure you purchase certified used vehicles from licensed dealerships with established names. Contact the state too if you suspect you've been tricked. Our customer service team are happy to attempt to help you to get more information before you pull the trigger and make a deal that could cost you thousands of dollars. All right, now remember, licensed dealers are required to disclose their one in all forms of advertising. That includes social media like Craigslist. They have to show their business name or license number. And we'll have more tips for you on our website, WSMV.com.